We now learn about binomial coefficients. In particular, we learn about binomial coefficients for binomial expansions. And this is the first of two tutorials that we'll be watching on this topic, so do make sure to watch both. The formula for a binomial coefficient is the following. nr is equal to factorial n over factorial n minus r times factorial r. Do make sure you know this formula, as when working with binomial expansions, this is an absolute must-know. And let me get something right out of the way. The notation that we have here on the left-hand side, this nr, can sometimes also be written as ncr or even cnr. To be clear, all three of these notations are referring to exactly the same thing and they are therefore all calculated with the formula that we'll learn how to use in this tutorial. Now that that's said, let's get started. First of all, let's quickly remind ourselves of how to calculate a factorial. And say, for instance, we have to calculate factorial 4. Well, this is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can go ahead and check, but that should equal to 24. In other words, when we calculate the factorial of a number, it's equal to the product of that number, so in this case 4, with all of the positive whole numbers less than it. So another quick example could be factorial 3, and that's equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which in turn is equal to 6. Adding on to this, there are two results which are definitely worth pointing out. The first is factorial 1, which is just equal to 1, and also factorial 0, which is equal to 1. Do make sure to make a note of that. Factorial 0 is not equal to 0, it's equal to 1. Okay, we now have everything we need to work through a couple of examples. Say we need to calculate the binomial coefficient 5, 3. Using the formula we have here, we can go ahead and state that this equals to factorial 5, over factorial 5 minus 3 times factorial 3. In turn, that's equal to factorial 5 over factorial 2 times factorial 3. And now, using what we know of factorials, we can go ahead and write that this equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over factorial 2, which is 2 times 1, times factorial 3, which is 3 times 2 times 1. And we notice now that we can simplify this quite a bit. Indeed, we have 3 times 2 times 1 on the numerator as well as on the denominator. So we can go ahead and cross those out, and we're now left with 5 times 4 over 2 times 1, which is just 2. And 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2, that's equal to 10. So we can state that 5, 3, the binomial coefficient, is equal to 10. And we're done. We have just calculated the binomial coefficient using this formula. Before looking at another example, let me point out something quite useful. In the second row of our working, looking at the result that I'm circling right now, we could have noticed right away that factorial 5 is equal to 5 times 4 times factorial 3. Indeed, since factorial 3 equals to 3 times 2 times 1, we could have done this and simply cancelled out the factorials 3 right away. And when calculating binomial coefficients, we'll more or less always be able to simplify things the way I've just done. And we'll show this in the second example. Say we need to calculate the binomial coefficient 6, 2. Well, again, using the formula, we can state that this equals to factorial 6 over factorial 6 minus 2, times factorial 2. In turn, that's equal to factorial 6 over factorial 4 times factorial 2. Looking at the denominator, we see that we have a factorial 4. So keeping that in mind, we can rewrite the numerator as 6 times 5 times factorial 4 over factorial 4 times factorial 2. We can now cancel out these factorial 4s, and we're left with 6 times 5 over factorial 2, which is equal to 2. We now notice that the 6 on the numerator can be written as 2 times 3, so cancelling out the factors of 2, we're left with 3 times 5. Finally, the binomial coefficient 6, 2 
is equal to 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. And we're done. We've just calculated the value of the binomial coefficient 6, 2. And so that's how we can calculate binomial coefficients. In our next tutorial, we're going to be learning a result which will allow us to find the binomial coefficients within a binomial expansion much faster, which will save us lots of time and potentially many points in exams. So do make sure to watch it. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial.